can I really take time out to appreciate, you know, um, worship leaders and those who have been releasing the songs of the Lord um, in this hour? I really want to thank each and every one of you. And just to say, you know, for the time spent to release what you have been releasing, writing what you have been writing, I really want to thank God for each and every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name, you all are blessed and you are glorious in the Father. Amen. The Bible tells us, it says in the book of Revelation chapter 5, it says in a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and health and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. And it says, Then I heard every what creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth on the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb to be praised and honor and glory and power forever and ever it says the four living creatures said amen and the elders fell down and worshiped do you see that but i want to jump to verse 9 and this is what it says it says and they went and they sang a new song saying you are worthy to take the scroll and to open the seals because you were slain and with your blood you purchased for god persons from every tribe and language and people and nation now the very emphasis is before the comma in verse 9 and they sang a new song now you begin to understand in verse 6 it says then i saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain standing at the center of the throne and circled by the what by the four living creatures and it says the lamb had seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of god sent out in all the earth he went and took what the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne and when he had taken it it says the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb each one had a harp and they were holding golden bowls full of incense which are the prayers of god's people and they sang a new song do you see that the living creatures the elders singing a new song now you know, the reason why I had to honor those who have been, you know, releasing, you know, songs and the writing songs and things like that. We thank God for that. But we are coming into a dimension where new songs and this song that is being sung in this hour, it's not going to be the usual worship song that you basically listen to on the Internet or, you know, that have been released by people. No. These are people who have spent time with the Lord. And this song they're going to be singing is directly from the throne of God. Do you see that? And they are going to be empowered by the Spirit through the living creatures to sing this new song. And it's a place where is the song of heaven. And this song is going to be recorded because you have to understand the Bible declares, you know, in the book of Revelation, if you read it, it said they began to sing the songs, the song of Moses. So that means the song that Moses was singing was directly from heaven, singing it unto the Lord, which, you know, and eventually you can see the angels were singing the same song. So this is the hour you're going to see the dimension and you're going to hear the dimension of worship songs. And these are people who have really spent time with the Lord yes and you're going to see as these songs begin to what begin to manifest scrolls are open lives are being changed this is a dimension of what of signs and wonders even through worship music you're going to begin to distinguish between what comes from the lord and what actually came from people who are just you know i just want to write a song do you see that? And this is going to be absolutely the outpouring of the Spirit upon all creation. Joel 2.25 and the book of Acts chapter 2. And it is for that reason I want to speak to somebody called Abigail. Because you are a worshipper. Yes, you have been. You are a worshipper. And it is to that I just want to bring this word. Because you have spent time in the presence of God. You have been doing what God has called you to do. And it's a place where you have been singing the songs behind the scene. And it's a place the Lord had been what? He had been filling you up. He had been filling you up. Yeah. People might not have heard you. They might not have heard what you have been singing. 
No, not at all. But there is a dimension that has been a portal that has been <laughs> released. The river that has always been inside of you is about to manifest in a new dimension because you have been trusting the Lord. You know, you have been believing the Lord. And you know, sometimes just like David, you could have been overlooked because yeah, you know, there are people who could sing better than you and they went forth ahead of you. But no, you have to understand that the Lord was preserved preserving do you see he was preserving the last and he was trying to bring them to the forefront so those who went ahead of you the lord allowed it for a reason because you know why there are sometimes people have to do it in the hour in the realm of john the baptist yes the reason why sometimes the lord allows people to go ahead of you is because of the realm of john the baptist so i want to bring this as an encouragement to you and this is what it's all about with John the Baptist. Can I read it for you and to help you to understand the mystery of why you have been held up until this moment? It says, it says, it says as it was written or it is written in the Isaiah, the prophet, it says, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. So do you see, Abigail, what they have been doing for you? They have been what? They were messengers sent ahead, preparing your way because you are the voice who has what? Who is now coming forth and they have gone as voice in the wilderness. They are preparing the way for you to come. Do you see? Make straight paths. So all they were doing all along was they were preparing the way for you. So yeah, they went ahead. They became famous. They went ahead. You know, they signed the song. They went ahead. But you knew that what was inside of you was ready, but was not yet time. Yes, though it is ready, it was not yet time. But now is the hour that the voice the Lord has placed in you is about to burst forth. The river is about to burst forth. Did you hear what Jesus said? He said, you cannot put an old wine into a new wine skin. No. So what they did or what they were doing is not the dimension in which you're going to be walking in. That is why he also says, you cannot put an old cloth yes a new cloth and patch it with a new one no because he says the wine skin is going to burst and the cloth is going to tear up do you see that dimension so this is where you begin to understand that you are the new wine the new wine the song that is coming out of you is the new wine that is why the bible declares can you see the servants those who have been filling the jars they've been doing things behind the scene and that is what you've been doing. And he said, now draw some out and give it to the master of the banquet. So you can see that because the wine that people had been singing, it had gone forth and now it has finished. Yes, because, you know, I believe I shared a word and I was helping majority of us to understand and to you too, Abigail. And this was what I was helping a lot of people to understand that as you have gone forth in this hour, those that have gone ahead of you, there is a reason why the Lord had to what? Had to prepare you in the season that he had to. Why? Because, because of who you are in him, because of what he intended to do with you he cannot rush the process he cannot rush you because you know why that song in which you're singing is not just reconciling people no it's reconciling creation and when i tell you reconciling creation is reconciling the stars the moon the sun is reconciling the animals the trees everything that adam let go in the garden and this is what your song is going to be doing reconciling all of creation so as you're singing in it the dead is raised as you're singing it do you see the eyes the blind eyes open as you're singing it those who are sick they become well as you're singing it those who are lame they begin to walk as you're singing it those who are deaf they begin to hear they begin to hear the song of the lord do you see why that you're restoring ears even as you're singing the song this is why he could not rush you ahead he had to prepare you for a time such as this so your songs are songs of deliverance, songs of reconciliation. Your songs, they are a realm and you're going to be singing it directly 
directly from the throne of God. Do you see that? From the throne. I'm not, I'm basically helping you to understand because in Revelation chapter 5, it says what? It says they were before. It says, I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And this is where you're singing your songs from, directly from the throne. Do you see that? And the amazing thing about you, Abigail, is not about money. <laughs> it's not about all of those things. It's just about serving Jesus. And he's going to honor you. Do you see that? He's going to honor you. He is going to what? He is going to honor you. He is going to honor you. Because the songs is not going to be like what everybody has been singing. No. It's like David. Do you see that? He was in the wilderness. He was taking care of sheep. So it's not. So in the place where you've been taking care of sheep is you've been singing that song, you know, in the secret place. You've been singing that song to the Lord. And now he's calling you to the forefront where you're going to begin to sing the song and reconciliation. You're going to manifest and you will see the power of the Lord move through your songs <laughs> to God be the glory amen now I want us to help you to understand I'm sure maybe you've seen this movie before if you haven't please go and watch it <laughs> it's a council you don't have to but please do there is a animated movie called abominable yeah abominable it talks about a little girl and you know the father went to sleep and she had this violin and what happened in the place of that violin you know as soon as he met this uh, uh, uh this animal you know and you know he was there and she had always wanted to travel you know every place her father showed her and what this animal when he came and when this animal came beside him you know what happened the animal began to take her around you know every place that she had always dreamt to be yeah she had always wanted to you know that she has always dreamt to be you know and it's a place where you begin to understand that this animal began to take her and when she got to you know the, the very violin broke and what happened after it broke it was a place yeah I believe the animal is called a yeti <laughs> that's what they call it <laughs> do you see that so in itself when the violin broke the yeti restored the violin and you know at, at first you know she used to play it she used to play it nothing was happening she would play it nothing was happening she would play it you know she was just enjoying herself but when the yeti repaired the violin the moment she played that violin, restoration began. <laughs> Do you see that, Abigail? Restoration began. I don't know if you play instruments, but I don't know why I had to go there. So it's a place where... You know, I believe you do. <laughs> if I had to call on a violin, you play an instrument. So it's a place where the spirit, you know, and the Lord is helping to understand the spirit falls upon your instrument. And the voice that you are is the voice of the father. And as you play this, reconciliation is happening. And the reason why I said the Yeti was taking her around every place that she had always wanted to visit. This is where the Lord is helping you to understand that you're going to be traveling a lot. Yeah, you're going to be doing a lots of traveling yes abigail you're going to be doing a lot of traveling because you're going to be in demand why because of the spirit of the lord that is at work in you because remember jesus he couldn't stay in one place he was going here he was going there and many were coming to jesus yeah because they wanted to hear what he had to say they wanted to be healed they wanted to be restored they were bringing all manner of sick people to him and this is the dimension as you stand up on the stage and as you begin to sing as you take that microphone and you begin to sing this is what begins to happen the power of the spirit and it is not you who is going to be doing it alone it says the four living creatures <laughs> they were with him they were with what the elders and they were singing the song so this is the dimension of the angelic realm that as you begin to sing the power of the spirit is moving over the people restoring them this is where you see it says that what we move on from the elementary doctrine of the lane of hands so as you begin to sing the song from heaven can you see the spirit is hovering over the people and restoration begin to happen so every meeting you have nobody's going to remain the same because there will be 
a magnificent difference. A magnificent difference. Let me put it in that dimension. To God be the glory, Abigail. <laughs> you are the blessedness of the Father. I just want to release that to you because it is the dimension of what the Lord intends. This is your scroll. And I just want you to help you to understand because you're a worshiper and you've been doing things behind the scenes. And the Lord is absolutely pleased with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, Abigail. You know, the Lord loves you. And I pray that this is an encouragement to you in understanding what the Lord intends to do for you. And in that in itself, I just wanted to release this counsel also to people. You know, in this hour, you all have to be careful as well, you know, including you, Abigail, you know, especially with people who are, you know, laying hands on, on people, you know, we have to be careful. Allow the Lord to lead you to the person who will, if that's the will of the Father. Because I remember there was a time when I was in the synagogue of Satan and there was this false prophet that came and he was laying hands and it, I believe he laid hands on my eyes. And ever since then, you know, <laughs> I've been struggling, you know, with, with cross eye and, and things like that. But I give God the glory for that restoration because I allowed him to. It was not the will of God, you know, and that happened in itself. So it was a place the Lord had to restore that and say, yeah, the man, you know, walking in witchcraft, laid hands on you. He was not supposed to do so. And, you know, every, since then it will come to dreams and then begin to do all manner of things. But I thank God because the Bible says, he whom the son sets free is free indeed. So be careful of the laying of people laying hands in this hour in Jesus mighty name. Be sure it is the Lord who is leading you. You know, before you submit yourself under that to receive what you intend to receive, because there are some true people out there, you know, and to God be the glory for that dimension. But like I said, let it be the leading of the spirit in Jesus mighty name. I love you all. I bless you with life. And for this, those who this have affected, you know, in itself, I bless you with the mercy of God. Abigail, I rejoice for you in Jesus mighty name. Amen.